Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Mail Drop Monday, and today we've got a lot of outgoing and one sweet incoming. Uh, all the outgoing prize packs from the 1,111 subscriber live giveaway show. It was a blast. Lots of stuff was given out. We had Fab Subs offering up their winning prize to young collectors, trade kind of actions like draft day trades. It was just a really, really good time. So thanks everybody who tuned in and enjoyed the shenanigans all together on July 5th. In the dugout today, we've got the Bambino, because as I say, as I look at my baseball history, uh, he could basically be in the dugout any day. He's always breaking records. But on this day in 1933, it was the first MLB All-Star game in which the Babe hit the first All-Star game home run. Also in the dugout or slash bench today, we got Zion, birthday boy Zion, who turns 20 years old today. We are all hoping to get to see him in the bubble. Uh, also, Pat Mahomes payday, uh, $450 million over 10 years uh, the first thought I had when I hear those kind of numbers is what if we're not playing sports for maybe up to two years uh, if there's no vaccine or anything like that. I mean, these, there's a lot of money going out, no gate for franchises. You're not going to make that money back on T-shirts and whatnot. So I really I'm wondering it's a concern in my mind, but I'm sure they know what they're doing better than I do. Uh, OK, let's get into the mail drop. I'm just going to quickly show. OK, so we got big old prize pack here. This one is going to Rob Knight who won the first prize. Uh, got some sweet uh, PC cards for you in there as well, Rob. We got uh, Panda Cards right here, who uh, was a big winner of one of the spoils packs. Uh, we got here Braden Burks, who received a, is going to receive one of the winning spoils packs, the hit spoils packs, courtesy of Ken's Cardboard. Ken won the trivia question and then offered to give it to Braden as a young collector. Uh, and then we've got here, we got uh, my man Tito25, the TTM Goat Perez. Uh, he won a big old uh, pack there of the wax packs, rack packs, all kinds of goodies. Uh, and then we got spontaneous giveaways uh, in the live show. So we got here, uh, we got Natalie Wu, who was given, like a hawk, won a trivia question for an artist autograph card. He passed along to Natalie Wu, young Fab Sub, subscri uh, fab sub Collector. Here we got Paul Ray, awesome fab sub, uh, wound up opening uh, in the pick-a-pack, a flare flare, and pulled again uh, another really tough-to-pull insert of one of his PC team players, so automatic spontaneous giveaway to him. And then we got, finally, Alex Bonin, uh, again, given a prize uh, card by another sub who won the trivia question. Just awesome stuff. Love the generosity uh, in the live giveaway show. We were having a blast just swapping things with people. Uh, I really couldn't uh, couldn't express my appreciation anymore. Uh, okay, so this incoming from Fab Sub Matt Spencer, who always delivers quality shenanigans. Uh, now, Matt said some of these are going to be in top loaders that have a price tag, but to pay no mind to that. Um, so we will pay no mind to that. So let's take a look here at what we've got in these little envelopes. Looks like we got some Bipster. You know I love that. Come on now. Don't be trouble. There we go. The Bipster. I love that people are sending me Bips cards. Nice Bowman Platinum A-Rod. Sweet petted upper deck. Oh, I mean, watch out. You, you might not want to give this one up, uh, Matt, because first Bowman, Jordan Montgomery, probably going to be in the rotation if we ever wind up playing baseball. Um, and he got some hellacious stuff. Got a lot of pitches. Nice. A little boonie action. Oh, you know you can't go wrong with a little 82 among my favorites. And the Gator. Ron Gidry, who was a trivia question. Just qual. Oh, okay. These are. So here we got the signers. That's what's going on. Side PC. That's a sweet one. I have not seen that one. Scott Radinsky. Remember him? Mark Portugal. Very nice. Couple puzzle pieces here. 
Bunch of puzzle pieces. Sweet. We'll see if these can get us any closer um, to any of these puzzles that I've been working on. Like I said, I'm I'm like literally a handful of pieces away from completing the Lou Gehrig puzzle um, and still haven't been able to get those last handful of pieces. And then I'd like to try to have enough pieces to maybe do a giveaway of the uh, puzzles that I've already made for myself and then do it again and give, give them away. And I've, again, short a just a couple pieces here and there on a number of, uh, of those puzzles. So we'll see how that plays out. Maybe we've got a couple in there that's going to get us over the hump. Cross the finish line. Try not to ding up these corners as I pull them out of here. Oh, we got some nice PC action going on right here. Sweet. Love that. La machine. Sevy. Garrett Cole already throwing a hundo from the bump there. Glaber Day. Nice. A Breg who is back on YouTube doing videos, uh, uh, mostly all shot pr prior to uh, coming back into the game, but um, doesn't seem to be too worse for wear in terms of like people getting on him in the comments. Nice hashtag, KB for the PC. I'll make sure those are on. <laughs> oh, Donruss 2020, is this what they look like? It's my first look at a Donruss 2020 card. Yeah, how about that? Throwback. To, I want to say, 86 Donruss. Of course, one of my faves with awesome Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor hanging in the judges' chambers where she belongs. Very cool. Hello, starling, my old friend. And when you hear me sing that, it's, we do owe that all to Matt Spencer because he, he's the one who kicked off adding that element to the, the Starling Marte collection. Nice Glaber. He's cool at the hot corner. Very nice. These obsidians are sick. Again, I don't really collect... It felt a little thick. It's just, just a thicker card. Yeah, because I don't rip uh, a lot of this. I so appreciate it. Wow. Glaber Relic. But the, look at that, baby. Let's get a little stand-up action here at the hot corner. For Mr. KB. Nice Glaber Relic. With the pinstripe. Get a good look at that. Sweet. Thank you, Matt. Wow. Very cool. I think this might be my first Glaber Relic as well. You can see a little, little dinged up, uh, as happens with these extra thick cards. I wonder if... Did, you have to let me know, Matt, if it came out of the pack that way, which I would fully understand. I suppose it could have been damaged in transit, but uh, sometimes those those really thick ones, you know, it's just hard because you're just layering paper and it just they they get dinged up. Nice Tanaka, who by all accounts is okay. Uh, smiled concussion after taking a liner off the dome from Giancarlo Stanton. Got the big maple. It's Don Baylor, Billy Sample, Andre Robertson, Bobby Meacham. Pags, a little Puerto Rico PC action, the guitar virtuoso Bernie Williams, oh, that was a sweet stack, awesome, thank you for that, okay, so I'm guessing this is, oh, okay, four Haas of cards, I'm not going to look in here, I'm going to save this for you, Haas, I'm not, we'll see what we'll see on the back. This is look like Indians PC action. All right, I'll pass that along. I have something for Haas anyway, um, so maybe that just speeds up the little package I was going to send his way. Of course, the Sandy Alomar Senior PC. Nice, Reggie from 70, yeah, 79. Oh, get out of Dodge. Some 51 Bowman. You must have been reading my mind. Matt, because honestly, I was looking at vintage Red Sox, 51 Bowman, things like that, from uh, some online uh, eBay auctions and stuff. Same thing, like, oh, I'll get grab that if I can get it for a good price and send it out to Fab Sub, Matt Spencer. Oh, shut the front door. Shut the front door. Now, he said again, pay no attention to the price tags. 
So let's just not even look at that. But even if you paid that much, what a great deal. This baby, other than this tape, which looks like whoever this this was an individual's collection, uh, and they just had them taped in some sort of book or photo album. And other than that, these things are in great shape. I mean, color really, really strong. But that one right there, you know that is a hardcore PC pull right there. I've been actually been looking at more Al Rosen cards, still trying to get myself some Hank Greenberg and Mo Berg vintage, but Flip is definitely a guy that I've been growing a PC of. Uh, shocked that he doesn't have more attention in the collecting community because he was uh, just a beast in his time. And this thing is just, the color is spectacular. I mean, centering beautiful my goodness that thing is a beauty my word thank you matt spencer as i say always delivers quality shenanigans and today is no exception coming in hot super hot Woo. johnny hop those things are great too all right so we and actually he sent us a little thing to rip Repacked wax, 15 vintage cards, 1950 to 2000. No lucky cut. Wow, well, they really sealed it up good. All right. Never seen one of these before. Looks like we got a filler on the top and the bottom. Okay. I think maybe I might have seen somebody else on YouTube crack one of these one once or twice. So I just have to see what what kind of fun is in there, like a Fairfield repack. Julio Franco, oh, I set that in the House of Cards action right there. A lot of mustache action right now in the early mid-80s. Nice 1970 tops. Dwayne Ward, who I've mentioned on the show before, that was at the Maddox camp when I was a kid. That's for Hall of Famer Roberto Alomar. Bobby Bowe. Oh, one of my what are the odds I would get a card from my favorite one of my favorite years, not my absolute favorite, but one of boy real nice and dinged up. <laughs> That's some quality banged up vintage. Oh, look at that. Matt Noakes after he came over to the Yankees from Detroit. Lee Smith 1980 is that 82 Fleer. Hmm. Look at that. It's backwards and upside down. Is this... Okay, so now the question becomes, as we close it out, is this an error one rookie card two? And I ask that because while he's here in the show, these two years, he looks like he only played in a couple games, so maybe he didn't get the service time to technically be considered a rookie, so, you know, late season call-up. Very interesting. I will have to do some investigating and see what the deal is with this card. But if anybody knows, please do leave it in the comments. And particularly about this, it makes me wonder if it's like a reprint. But perhaps that's a very common knowledge error and I just, it's my first time seeing it, so I'm not in the know. But wow, I've actually never seen that before. I've never seen a card company... Slap it up, flip it, reverse it, rub it down. Oh no, upside down and backwards. Wow, that was awesome. I really, I can't believe some, there are some stuff in here that I'm just going to, after the show, go back and just gaze upon the majesty. Just tremendous. Tremendous. Look at this. Look at this little infield trio action. Got two hot corner guys. Glaber should be over at second still, but, you know, rocking shortstop these days. My gosh, that thing, this is just out, out of this world. Out of the ballpark. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow, that was so fun. Topping, that, that tops off the, uh, the awesome giveaway week, which, unfortunately, Matt wasn't able to make. Uh, and I know he really wanted to be there, uh, so we will have to try to reciprocate 
fabs up Matt Spencer with some quality after after this kind of awesome stuff. Uh, so there you go, everybody. Wow. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's mail drop. Might be a little bit of a lighter week. Uh, you know, just uh, might not have an episode every day. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, but I'm looking forward to reading your comments. So land that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.